Okay, so let's take a look at this JLC. Um, what you see here on the left hand side, right here, is the GMT. Okay, what you see right here is simply just a, a, a mechanism indicator. So this just lets you see the seconds rotating. Um, they, of course, they make it look fancy and stuff, but that is essentially the seconds hand that's running. See how it's slowly ticking away? Um, I, already, I already removed the minute hand and hour hand right over here. Um, and this is your open date indicator. So essentially, we can set the time regularly. When we pull the crown out once, the hour hand moves independent and snaps from uh, per hour. So it'll go from 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that lets us independently set the time from the GMT. That's how we'll use it, okay? Uh, most of the time, for some JLCs, you'll see that the dial feet, okay, are actually right here. It's embedded into the side of the movements, as opposed to traditionally, sometimes we'll go from it at the, directly underneath the dial, but it's placed right over here, okay? I use these for hands um, because it just it's, it looks nice, uh, keeps them safe. Um, doesn't scratch and it's individually organized so I can you know go and grab an hour hand if I need it go and grab a minute hand if I need it um, for so long story short I mean I like it so uh, this, this is generally what I use when I work on watches and remove hands <clears throat> while speaking about removing hands I'll generally use tools like these um, with a plastic film and I protect the dial I'll lay it right over the dial like such and then we remove the hands. So right here, you're gonna see me removing the dial feet screws here uh, uh, that are embedded into the dial. Uh, there are three of these that you're gonna see me work on. So I'm just taking one of these out for now. And for the sake of time, I'll cut it out short. Here is the dial uh, just by itself. Uh, look at the complexion. It looks really, really uh, nicely done. Um, take a look from the back. There's inserts and slots uh, embedded into the dial. Here is the movement side of the uh, caliber. Um, I believe it's 971D. Uh, this is the dial side. Um, the one on the bottom right there is the seconds hand indicator and the one on the left is the GMT. Um, here you're gonna see me actually do a test on the watch and usually this is just a preliminary. I usually run this on a timing machine. All right, here I just took off the balance wheel and I'm currently taking off the automatic system. Um, the screws here, there's three screws. Uh, once I take off the bridge, you're gonna see a couple of these wheels over here. These are part of the automatic system, um, unlike the uh, standard ETA or Rolex calipers. This is actually part of the watch itself. All right, here you're seeing me check the end shakes of the watch. I'm actually adjusting the camera angle, um, but I'm checking the end shakes for each of the wheels here. And I generally do this for almost every single part of the watch prior to servicing it to see if we need to adjust any end shakes before we actually uh, clean the watch up. So here I slow mold it kind of, and you kind of see me drop that, that's by accident. Um, but either way, uh, once we finish all the preliminary pre-cleaning stuff, uh, you remove this piece right here, this bridge you see me holding in my hand, um, that is part of the automatic system. Once I take apart this, I will take apart the barrel, uh, I'll take apart the gear train and we'll remove all the uh, wheels for that. Here is the watch shown with the wheels taken apart. Uh, the center, of course, uh, we're having the canyon pin on the other side. Um, the barrel is still intact and everything and I'll do that right now. Dial side time. All right, so there's three move, three screws here. Uh, if I stop frame this, take a look over here. There's one, two, three. You see these three holes. Um, once you remove that, the entire calendar disc and the calendar uh, plate comes off. To remove those three screws, you want to remove this specific small screw right here, and then remove that little cap. This way you can get across uh, the dial. So what you're looking at here is that uh, once you remove the bridge plate, a uh, calendar bridge plate and everything, uh, you have access to this. Um, the GMT wheel, our wheel went off. Uh, the minute wheel right here. 
Um, we're in, and essentially, we're just removing everything we could possibly remove um, at this point without any additional screws. And you notice that I try to grab the canyon pinion. We'll squeeze that out later. This is barely hanging in there. This isn't really uh, tie in or anything like that. It's just uh, plopped into place. Um, other than that, there should be a little screw right there. Yes, okay, the wheel. And then the rest here is all fresh and fit. Um, you have a screw, you have a couple screws right there for the setting system. Once we get all the parts taken from the watch, uh, we're going to use something like this, a little wood. Uh, usually we'll peg the jewels with this. Um, this just helps us clean the uh, previous oils and whatnot and make sure that the watch runs uh, smoothly with no issues. We'll do this for all the jewels in the watch. And here is a uh, general picture of all the parts taken apart over here. Um, I didn't take apart the barrel yet, but for the most part, that's everything laid out. Um, here is the barrel taken apart. That is the mainspring and the barrel inside. Here's another uh, video of everything taken apart. We can take a look over here. Um, at this point, we're cleaning the watch, and that's it. Um, once the watch is taken apart, we reassemble everything together, and from there, we lubricate uh, during the process, and we ensure that the run, uh, watch is running properly. All right, uh, all in all, my thoughts on the watch uh, are great. I, I think the watch runs very, very smoothly. I think. I think everything about this watch is good. The movement, I, if you ask me for my opinion on the movement, the movement is top notch, um, very, very well made. Um, the GMT and everything like that are phenomenal. I, I, I think that the mechanism and everything inside the watch is uh, well put together. Um, other than that, um, I think this is a good buy. Um, and I feel like uh, for what you're paying and what you're getting inside this watch is uh, well, well, uh, reason very very reasonable if you guys like this video if you like it please comment and subscribe and also hit the like button um, if you want to share it you can go ahead and share it if you do like more of these videos please let me know um, i'm experimenting with, experimenting with a couple different variations in terms of uh, uh video ideas and whatnot um, i was planning on doing a whole spectrum of different watches and whatnot um, but if you do like it please comment let me know what your thoughts are uh, if you agree with uh, my findings and stuff and overall, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.